this is perceived as life-threatening because you're not supposed to bond with the enemy. You're not supposed to be intimate with the enemy. So we activate psychological defenses. We objectify the enemy. We begin to consider the enemy the equivalent of an inanimate object. And we dehumanize the enemy using three defense mechanisms, psychological defense mechanisms. The first one is known as splitting. We are all good, the enemy is all bad, black and white thinking. The second defense mechanism is known as reaction formation. We attribute to the enemy those things in us, those traits and qualities and thoughts and emotions that we reject in ourselves. And this is known as a reaction formation. And then there's attribution error. Attribution error is when we say, we are the good guys because we choose to be the good guys. They are the bad guys because that's who they are. This is their essence. Now, all these psychological defense mechanisms, in confluence, by the way, serve to dehumanize and objectify the enemy so as to prevent and forestall intimacy and bonding. Because intimacy and bonding is bad for the business of war, of course. The second group of defenses or group of psychological processes has to do with paranoid ideation, with persecutory delusions, or in short, has to do with fear.